Hey, Dan. So I, I want to chat a little bit about, you know, you know, one of our owners here, Bill Brandeis, you know, Bill. So <laughs> Bill has this line where he'll come by my office and he'll have something he sort of wants to pitch or talk about. And the way he starts those conversations with me is, so John, this is one of those moments where I'm often wrong, but I'm never in doubt. So I'm very confident in this, but I really don't have any idea if it'll actually work, but my confidence is good. It, it, it makes me think a lot in that sales space. We, we are often wrong in what we do, but we really tend to stay very positive, upbeat, never in doubt sort of thing. And as long as we're grounded in reality and we know when to pull back and when to adjust and those kinds of things, that self-confidence, that self-awareness can really take us pretty far as long as we're, we're careful with the line, if that makes sense. But I think what's really good about that motto is it really helps with innovating and doing some new things because you're not going to back away from something just because it seems a little daunting or a little uncomfortable. Uh, because you're okay failing and being wrong. That's not the point for you. The point is the bigger picture of success and big leaps forward and those kinds of things. But it's just a line that sticks with me and I think has a lot of relatability to sales. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. If you want to be great in sales, one of the things you need to work on is having incredible self-confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Not arrogance, right? So to me, arrogance is, is yeah. somebody who's pretending to be confident. <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. that that oozes out self-confidence is not arrogant. Yes. So there's a fine line there. Um, I, I think really, I was I remember reading a book and it was about this this guy that was a millionaire. And and someone came to him and said, Hey, can you teach me to be a millionaire just like you? And he said, Why? And and the guy said, Well, I got a family and kids and I've always been in debt and blah, blah, blah. And the millionaire, very sure of himself and his techniques and everything, said, How much are you willing to pay me? And the guy's like, well, I don't have any money. That's why I'm coming to you. No, no. How much are you willing to pay me to teach you to be a millionaire? And the guy thought about it. And he said, $10,000. And the millionaire just laughed and walked <laughs> away. And as he walked away, he said, when you're serious, come back and see me. And there's the difference, right? So I think when we're on a sales call, if we have absolute belief in our product and our services and our people and our methodology and that we can help, we have absolute belief in that. When the prospect is then demanding from us stupid stuff, I need a <laughs> quote, I need a proposal, and we know it's not going to go anywhere. I need yeah, references, yeah. and it's not going to go anywhere. The, kind of inwardly, you just laugh. You're not serious, because if you were serious, you're going to do it the way I'm recommending we do it. Yep. yep. Sometimes it's okay to walk away. Yeah, and I, I think it's vital to have a willingness to do that and not have it be a bluff. Right. <laughs> because if you're just pretending that you're going to walk, you're, you know, right. but th there are times where you genuinely need to walk away and it's not combative. You're not, you know, you just, it doesn't fit. Walk. Right. Yeah. There's no, there's no combat here. It, it, it is yeah. just a matter of fact, this is what works best. This is the way I sell based on my experience and my knowledge. And if you don't want to follow that process, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, it's okay. I still can like you. We can still be friends, but I'm not going to sell you. We're not going to work again. Yeah. All right. There we go. See you again tomorrow. Take care.